the Weizmann Institute of Science in Rehovot, Israel. Scientist magazine recently named it the best place to work in academia outside the United States, the third time the Weizmann was so honored. I talked recently with three Weizmann professors about their research and about why they like being at the Weizmann Institute so much. The key to Dr. Michal Sharon's work in biochemistry is a specially designed mass spectrometer. There are only three instruments like this in the world. Uh, two of them are found in England and the third one is here. Large protein molecules are vaporized by the device, which analyzes their shapes and compositions. One of our focuses is a proteasome complex, and this is a, the recycling machine of the cell. It takes the proteins that are damaged or misfolded and degrades them to small peptides that are then recycled back to amino acid. If this recycling machine doesn't successfully get rid of damaged proteins, it can lead to disease. If it doesn't work well, they will form aggregate and um, diseases like Alzheimer or Parkinson can be developed. Weizmann has no undergraduates, so teaching loads are not large. Most of a professor's energy is devoted to her research. We actually have all the time that we need for doing our research. And I think it's a really true heaven for young scientists. Dr. Avishai Galiam doesn't look at protein molecules within a cell, but at exploding stars called supernovas. Less than 10% of all stars are supernovas. For unknown reasons, they don't slowly die out like our sun, but explode at a very young age. The typical age of an exploding star would be a, a few million years or tens of millions of years, compared to the sun that would live billions of years. Galiam's research is often done in collaboration with large observatories around the world, but Weizmann's small telescope is also very useful. You get use of the telescope basically unlimited. Let's spend the entire night now observing this one single target. Sometimes there's a lot of value to that compared to, let's say, a big observatory where there are thousands of users and they can say, yeah, you can have these 10 minutes, but then it's somebody else's turn. Dr. Galiam values the freedom researchers have at Weizmann. They would not hire a faculty member and say, okay, we hired you because you work in this area. They would say, we hired you because we think you're good. And then you should define your area. A custom-made robotic microscope is the heart of Dr. Maya Schuldiner's research. If one scientist used to have to sit on the microscope and tune the focus, our microscope has been built in a way that we can look at thousands and thousands of different strains of yeast without having to ever touch the microscope. She had conceived of just such a robotic microscope during her graduate study in the United States. It was my dream to be able to set up such a system because I envisioned the power that it would give us in really understanding the secrets of the cell. Of course, the namesake of Weizmann Institute was Chaim Weizmann, Israel's first president, who did chemistry research right here in the 1930s, when it was called the Daniel Seif Research Institute. It was founded by scientists, and it's run by scientists. It therefore has a spirit or an understanding that science is not a profession. Science is a lifestyle. It's something that you take with you to whatever you do. Find out about other exciting stories at Israel21c.org.